Opposition members seek removal of JPC chairman probing the 2G scam for alleged disclosure of draft to the media. Ruling party in turn seeks ouster of the three BJP members who are a part of the JPC. Rajya Sabha adjourned for the th day over various issues. LS adjourned after paying obituary reference to sitting TMC MP Ambika Banerjee. JPC meet on 2G scam postponed. External Affairs Minister Salman Khurshid asserts that India is not a pushover. Khurshid to visit Beijing on the 9th of May. China tones down rhetoric on the issue. Army Chief General Bikram Singh greets Defence Minister A.K. Antony on the Chinese incursion issues in Ladakh and updated him on the present situation there. Also review security situation in JNK. Supreme Court Act Stuff seeks explanation from Delhi Police Chief and Uttar Pradesh Chief Secretary for Police Insensitivity and Violence Against Women. Delhi Police registered the case against Assistant Commissioner B.S. Alavad for allegedly slapping a young woman during a protest against the rape of a five-year-old girl. Main accused remanded to five-day police custody. Government sets up a special task force to probe complaints of irregularities by chit fund companies. Enforcement Directorate registers a money laundering case to probe the allegations of financial irregularities. Sarada chit fund scam extends to Assam Chief Minister Hin CBI probe the kingpin Sudipta and two others remanded to 14-day police custody. Allahabad High Court dismisses pleas of 88 police personnel opposing their en masse transfer in the wake of uh, the murder of Kunda DSP Ziaul Haq and two others. In Uttar Pradesh, two brothers were killed and a woman injured in an incident of explosion at Taj Ganj area of Agra. The incident took place when some people were trying to extract brass out of the mortar shells. Railways reduce advance reservation period for booking train tickets to 60 days. It will be effective from the 1st of next month. Parvez Musharraf formally arrested into assassination of Benazir Bhutto. Musharraf to appear before a Pakistani anti-terrorism court in the case. Court had permitted prosecutors to question and include him in the investigation. White House warns chemical weapons use would be a red line for possible intervention in Syria. Intelligence agencies believe with varying degrees of confidence that Syria has used chemical weapons against the rebels. Iraqi Prime Minister warns of the return of sectarian civil war in the country. 179 people killed in Iraq over the past three days. Six persons killed and 15 injured in Karachi blasts. Tehreek-e Taliban Pakistan claimed responsibility for the blast. In Bangladesh, the death toll in the multi-story building collapse incident at Savar on the outskirts of Dhaka reaches 251. More than 2,000 people have been rescued alive. In Indian Open Super Series Badminton, Saina Nehwal crashes out after losing to Yui Hashimoto of Japan in the women's singles. In the men's singles of Indian Open Super Series, Anand Pawar causes the biggest upset of the day beating third seed Chinese Yun Hu enters quarterfinals. Chennai Super Kings beat Sunrisers Hyderabad by five wickets. A scintillating 60-run uh, knock by Mahindra Singh Dhoni helped the team to chase down 160-run target in the final over. And finally, Kolkata Knight Riders to take on Kings 11 Punjab at Eden Gardens. Kolkata Sharad's team needs to win at least seven more games from nine out, outing to keep their hopes alive for a place in the playoffs.